Today we are going to do a compression test on this 2001 Forerunner that's behind me. It's my wife's car. Seems to be, uh, I don't want to say nothing but trouble lately, but there's been a lot of trouble with it lately. First it was the valve seal, valve cover seal, which really wasn't the seal or the gasket. It was actually the valve cover itself, which cracked and broke off. Who knew those things can do that, but it did. Uh, so then once we got that fixed and we replaced the plugs and the plug wires, we get this wonderful blue smoke, but it's only upon startup and doing some research. It suggests that the valve stem seals are bad. We ordered those, they're gonna come in at some point, um, but I decided, I thought maybe if it's not the valve stem seals, maybe there's an, uh, could be a compression ring or an oil ring or something around the piston, one of the rings around the piston that could not be seating well and I could, we could be losing compression out of that. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a compression test on this thing. Uh, since we have it anyway, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to compression test each cylinder, write it down, and see how that compares. According to the technical service manual, um, that should be 174 PSI uh, or greater. So we'll see. Let's go see how this thing goes. First thing we have to do, though, before we do that is we have to take off this air intake, and we have to pull the um, electronic fuel injector fuse from the fuse box, which is over here so that when we crank it like it just doesn't want to start so we'll see how it goes okay so tab back here so according to this uh, let's see there's this one but I'm not gonna pull that that's a relay uh, 20 amp fuse this guy here EFI so that's the fuse I'm gonna go after okay I thought I would redo the unboxing video of the compression test kit and get better shots for you of actually the fittings that are in this thing. So here we go. Okay, so in the kit you get um, you get this hard uh, steel fitting. It works the same. It's the same standard fitting. Um, as this guy right here has the same threads, which is what I used to do our test. You can see thread length. And then they have this long, they call it the, um, they call it a deep well. So, I mean, they're the same length. Uh, the only difference is, is the threads on them. You can see this is the standard version and then this is the deep well version. This kit also comes with extra O-rings and Schrader valves. So one of the things I did when I first got it was I actually <clears throat> went ahead and tightened all the Schrader valves just because I don't know where they're at when they came with, you know, and some were a little loose. So if you buy this kit, you might want to tighten your Schrader valves up. So this is uh, for a Schrader valve. So the way that it works is the Schrader valve is in there. Can't really see it. There. And then this end here goes around the Schrader valve and you can either loosen it and pull it out or you can tighten it. And so I just tightened all mine down. The gauge worked fine. Um, again, I think I showed this in the video. This little plastic for the uh, to release the pressure just, I don't know, seemed flimsy. It seemed like it's actually going to fall off at some point. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. But basically the way that worked was... This guy, this end here, screwed down into the spark plugs. You gotta pull the spark plugs. This goes into the spark plugs, and then this end is sticking out, and then this is just a hose connection. Snap it on, voila. Crank it about eight to 10 times, then you'll know what your pressure reads. Um, you need to know what your uh, specific pressure needs to read for your specific model. I will get the technical service manual on mine and we'll see what it says. I know what it says, it says 174 PSI, but I'll get it just in case, just to show you. Here's our manual for the 01 Forerunner. And in it, it has the 
PSI for doing a compression test. Let's see, where did that go? Cam compression test inspection. For us, notice it says uh, 174 PSI or more with a minimum pressure of 145 PSI. And the difference between each cylinder should be 15 PSI or less. So in other words, you shouldn't have any deviation of 15 PSI between cylinder readings. You're supposed to do the compression test when the engine's warm. And she just got home from being out, so this is actually really warm. So there's an O-ring right here. You want to be sure that you don't crush this and that when you remove this, it comes back up with the, with the hose. Okay, just snugged it up. All right. It's holding at 180 PSI. So I'd say that cylinder's good. So we're going to mark that at 180 PSI. Cylinder one. Cylinder one, 180 PSI. We're going to call that good. See this thing? It's kind of floppy. I feel like that thing's going to, we're going to lose that. It's 180. We'll call that 180. I guess you can start. I guess maybe 190, I'd say. Okay, so we finished up uh, pressure testing um, all six cylinders, and they all tested fine. They were all at 180 PSI, and specifications, again, say they should be above 174 with no differential between 15 PSI between cylinders but that's not our case. So my hope is that it is just the valve stem seals, which when we get that kit, we'll make another video and hopefully that takes care of the blue smoke. This, this thing just billows out when she starts the car and we can get another 338,000 more miles out of it.